Today, we're going to cover hydrocodone acetaminophen. Some of the brand names are Norco, Vicodin, Lorset, and Lortab. The therapeutic category is that it's a combination product between an opioid and an analgesic. Regarding indications, it's typically used in pain management and pain relief. It's used for severe pain that requires the use of an opioid after alternatives have been exhausted. So for acute pain, that's generally classified as 3 to 7 days of treatment using the lowest effective dose. Regarding chronic pain, once again it's used secondary to non-pharmacologic and non-opioid treatments. So it's usually reserved for those scenarios. So regarding the dosage forms, it comes in a tablet, solution, and elixir. The tablet is written as two components, with the hydrocodone being first and the acetaminophen being second. So there's a 5 slash 325 milligrams, 7.5 slash 325, 10 slash 325, and then there's a 5 slash 300 milligrams, then 7.5 milligrams slash 300, and then a 10 slash 300. There's also a 2.5 slash 325, but that's much less common. You typically don't see that at the retail locations. Then there's solutions. So that's very similar to how the tablet is written, but it's per a milliliter amount. So there's a 7.5 slash 325 per 15 milliliters, and a 10 slash 325 per 15 milliliters. And then finally, there's an elixir, and it's much like how the solution is listed, and the main strength is the 10 slash 300 per 15 milliliters. And since it's an elixir, definitely keep in mind that there's 7% ethanol in there. So let's get into the dosing. So for adults and geriatrics, it's generally individualized dosing, where you start low and you titrate to a dose based on the analgesic response that has the least adverse effects. It's generally dosed every four to six hours, and it's as needed, and the max dose is limited by the acetaminophen. So ideally, you want to keep that less than four grams a day. So regarding chronic therapies, when that therapy is coming to an end, you want to gradually taper the patient's dose down. Now regarding pediatrics. So much like the adults, it's individualized. You want to titrate to an appropriate analgesic response, but in terms of the max amount, you're trying to stay under 75 milligrams per kilogram per day. So the max is you want to do no more than five doses per day. And once again, the acetaminophen, the goal here is that you don't want to ever go over 4,000 milligrams per day. Mechanism of action and pharmacology. The hydrocodone component is a CNS depressant. The way it works is that pain perception gets altered through the binding of the opioid receptor located in the central nervous system. Hydrocodone is excreted in the urine. About 26% of that initial dose is gone in 72 hours. In terms of the peak serum concentration, that typically happens in about an hour. The half-life of this drug is about 4 hours. Acetaminophen is speculated to activate the descending serotonergic inhibitory pathways in the CNS, as well as the inhibition of the hypothalamic heat-regulating center. They typically combine acetaminophen and hydrocodone because there is a synergistic effect between the two. Side effects. Well, since it's a CNS depressant, a lot of the side effects are things you would expect from CNS depression such as slow and labored breathing, constipation, and hypotension. Drug interactions. So things like alcohol, benzodiazepines, amphetamines, and anticholinergics are definitely an issue. Um, essentially, any drugs that can affect the CNS are things that should be of concern. Some other things to be concerned about are drugs that are metabolized down in particular pathways, uh, typically the CYP2D6 and the CYP3A4. Um, so drugs that are inhibitors or inducers of these are definitely of concern. Monitoring parameters. So there's a black box warning regarding addiction, abuse, misuse, and hepatotoxicity. Um, some other typical monitoring parameters is obviously things like the level of pain relief, uh, the respiratory status, uh, mental status, blood pressure, and bowel function. Patient counseling information. 
Um, this combination product is used to ease pain. Um, common things that you could expect are nausea, vomiting, headache, heartburn, dizziness, passing out, and clammy skin.